and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea Scalona, I'm a digital artist and I am in the middle of starting my own small business and making a series of vlogs about it. So if this is something that you find interesting, maybe you're starting your own small business and you're like me, like trying to figure out this stuff with very little following and like, you know, starting from scratch, then this is your vlog, welcome. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel for seeing future videos and there's already and other vlogs that you can also watch, so yeah, I hope you like it. Good morning guys! Welcome to the third vlog of me starting my online shop and my small business. I did run into a couple of problems that I will let you know now later on in the video and today is thursday actually from the well for you the third week of the vlog for me the fourth week of actually doing this and we got a lot today to do and it's also a beautiful day outside so we'll see what we can do today In the last vlog, I was sharing with you the couple of papers and envelopes that I was buying for making my own art prints here at home. Um, the first thing I actually did before deciding which paper I was going to use was buying sample packages from these uh, brands that I was already researched on through other artists' vlogs or through internet uh, searches. So I was decided to use the Hannemühle German Egg Chin from 310 10 and 10 grams for my prints because I did I liked it how thick the paper was and the texture that it has and also the colors printed like beautifully on that paper. And my printer, which is an Epson 2826, I will be sharing those things. I don't know, here maybe you got the spade there. Um, was not supposed to pass more than 300 grams, uh, grams uh, papers, but from the sample pack that I got, she passed this paper that I was, that I am telling you. So I was like, amazing, like this can work and I like this paper, so let's use it. And I bought the actual pack of German etchings, 310 grams grants a uh, paper to use it because I also have like a first pre-order from a friend and I also want to like make products and take pictures and send some sample package to friends like to test how is the shipping process and how long the time is like into go from me to that person's house home um it how long it takes so I was like, okay, let's get the package. And it's also because I have to have the, like, the materials before the start, right? The thing was, guys, that I actually got my paper and when I went to print, it, did, did, it didn't print. And I was like, what? Why, Why is this happening? Um, what is happening? <laughs> I was like freaking like big time. Uh, the thing is that when we, me and my husband, like started to like check well, what is happening here, like why is not printing, like after many many tries with a printer, and knowing what I already told you that she cannot process 300 plus uh, papers, we like let's check the sample pack again and let's compare the papers, like the allegedly same papers, and we realized that the actual paper from the sample pack. It's thinner, it seems to be like more pressed. 
I don't know why would they like press more one and not the the one that they are actually selling as this is the paper but the thing is that because of that I couldn't use the paper to print uh, like I wanted to so luckily for me I had other papers that I also liked and I was like well okay the second best choice after this one was this other and I went with that one that one just print pretty fine it's also from the same brand Hannah Mule I really do, really do like the quality of their papers for matte papers I think that they print pretty well they are on the kind of expensive side of the spectrum on papers but I want to offer like a quality print for people like when they get it and they see it they were like okay dude like this is something like good you know I want to offer to my customers some quality price value in what they are buying and so I was like really really disappointed last week and a little bit down bump down <laughs> because well I was like you know imagining like this is what is going to be in my head and so even got the descriptions for my products on my shop now I have to change all that because of course I have to like now give the accurate description of the actual pepe that I'm using that is not the one that I was intend to use and so yeah you can learn from my mistakes I know we are starting business we have to deal with these things especially when you are working on producing things yourself at home like this is like the normal the normal thing like maybe things don't go the way you want it to and you have to like pivot <laughs> you have to like you know redirect yourself and find solutions in order to like keep things going so yeah like this is how things are going to be. I will insert some, I probably already inserted some clips of me uh, printing and packaging the actual final stuff. I think that this is like the one downside that I have for now. The other thing that I am like trying to figure out these days is shipping. I have never sent a letter in my life, like ever. In my country, like in my home country, Mail post is, is not like great and so people almost don't use it because of they are afraid that things like we get lost and stuff like that. And so this is like my first time facing this kind of stuff like how to send a letter and how much does this cost, what are the timings, how long does it take to get from me to you. Yeah, you're going to like join me in that adventure because I did ship my first letter this week um, to Canada. I don't know if it's going to get there. I don't know if it's going to get returned. I actually think that I got it the, um, the stamp wrong. <laughs> so yeah, like this is me. I am like that <laughs> and I learn from my mistakes. So I hope that you can also learn from your mistakes, like from wherever you are. I also have set like my final date for opening the shop like this is happening on July 15th like there is no turn back now I only need to like finish um, the shipping configurations in my website that's it fixing the descriptions I think that all my starting products are already up and go on the on the page on the on my website of course you are not going to find this because it's not posted yet and then when the next weeks the next week I am hoping to be just like you know um, refining details and making sure that things are working and everything is fine and maybe next Saturday you will be watching me finally launching my shop and it will be open. I will let you know, of course, in the next vlog, in the next week's vlog. Let's go for this week. This is a short one because like not much, not much difference uh, has been going on from last week to this week. It's like very admin stuff. Like I was not having to create new work because I already have I always I am always creating work so I, I did not have to like okay let's make work for the shop so no I already had that and I am just like selecting these are the ones that I'm going to use 
and how I want to do it is why you are watching me do. So one of the things that I actually have been trying to figure out is which shipping platform I would like to use. And here in Germany, mm, they are not available the ones that everyone probably knows, like Shippo and Easy, no, Easy Ship it is. Um, I don't know, like, you know, Shippo, like a lot of artists use that one and that one is particularly not available here in Germany. I am not sure in other countries, you will have to check if it is available. So I went for other choices like Easy Ship, which I, I, I actually like how they work. Um, they give you a quote on how much can cost ship something outside of your uh, territory and in your territory, of course. But right now my worry is not that much like domestic shipping because that one is like pretty easy and my mail is mainly like letter wise. Like, you know, it will be like compact letters and large letters and I can just send that. But when, when you are going out of Germany, then that's where things get complicated and they are more expensive platforms and you know couriers so easy ship actually tells you um like if you go from here to here like how much and who is the cheapest and who is maybe the best value you know i must say shipping international shipping is not cheap like here ship I know. The downside for me for EasyShip is that they have only a 14 day trial, free trial, and then you have to like choose the plans that they have. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, I think it's actually pretty good. But me, as someone who is starting and who doesn't have much experience on which features are like important and it would make my life easier and my customers' life easier. I'm worried that this will not fit my needs and the payment plan starts at 29 a month. I cannot afford that because my store is not making money yet. So I have to go like with the minimum investments in this side, which is what I have been trying to do. So yeah, that's easy ship, my love. So I am about to print my envelopes because like i don't have a stamp like you know like ink stamp for like doing some branding and make the packaging like cuter and stuff i went with the option of printing because my printer also prints on envelopes and so right now i'm like going to make the first test on the on one envelope that i just been like you know like using for Moving here and, here and there and like saving and have like storage stuff. So I think it will be the perfect uh, print test to see if I like how how it looks, which I believe it will, it will be looking cute, I think. Not so much convinced about the back part on the envelope. I don't know if just leave it with just my stamp logo but I guess I'll see if I like it printing on the envelope in my Epson. So as you get to see, it's a little bit aligned more to the left than what I have it in the original design. See? So I think I'm going to test in uh, normal paper. I'm going to cut it to the side the size that I need and see how I can make it print on the actual. Also this, I don't know if you can see there, it's, it did some weird, weird uh, dots here. 
so I'm going to see if maybe changing the color it will fix that I have the envelopes printed and I must say I love it <laughs> I'm going to show you now so the first part that I'm going to cover is my address is going here but I won't show you that but then look at how cute I focus yes look how cute <laughs> now I was like struggling a lot because I really needed to like put this please do not bend uh, for mailers and I was like oh everyone's like doing with the stuff and I don't have a stamp and I cannot keep spending more money on this kind of stuff and then it was like mm, print it yeah I saw another artist doing it and I was like of course why why would you um, not use what you already have in your hands like it's the printer printed and like yeah it was like a very very good decision and then back here is this little kind of logo I don't want to call it a logo because I am actually a designer and this is more like a stamp like you know like a seal or something like that for that people to know where this is coming from um, but yeah I love it now my envelopes can look cute and I can rest in peace that this will be a nice experience for my customers. Also, I got a few washes that I ordered the other day for like sealing my tissue papers and stuff because when I was wrapping the first orders that you already saw, I realized I didn't have anything like to like seal these kind of things. And so I got this. This is so cute. Are you camera? There you got it. There you have it. Look how cute she is. Like, oh my god, I can. It's gorgeous. <laughs> and also, this one is I'm using it right now for like just holding the. Um, this side of the envelope so that it doesn't open and gets much on the printer so, and then like this I will not harm the envelope either so yeah I got more here but you already saw me unpacking they are gorgeous like really I am so happy I can't wait for you guys whoever it is that you if ever place an order and you you know you get it to your hands and I would love to know if you like the experience and if you like the packaging or is if there anything that you maybe think that it can improve uh, but so far I am like really happy with everything how it's everything turning around I can't wait to open the shop I really I just I just can't like I am an overthinker and I need to like have the biggest amount of things under my control this is why it's been pushed for like you know like a little bit more like for the 15th of July mark in your calendars please um, but yeah I'm, I'm like I'm really happy with this experience so far I think the downside of everything was like I'd say like the paper situation but that has been sorted out and yeah I think that this maybe is the end of this vlog because like for this week I don't have um, anything more to do. I already did the shipping labels configuration that I wanted to do. It was like very quick. Thank you so much for joining me in this week, this very very short week, I'm pretty sure. 
and yeah i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have any questions please let me know in the comments because i am more than happy to answer you so that you may not the same mistakes that i have made before i will be having a q a video very soon after the shop launch for you to like answering a lot of questions that you have sent me they are very good questions but if you have any other questions leave me down in the comments because i want to know i want to hear it and i will do my best to answer them so yeah thank you for joining me this week and remember to hit like and please subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of vlogs i am very happy to be making them to sharing this experience with people like me who are just starting from scratch and yeah bye bye see you next week